We are gathered here today in the presence of family and friends to celebrate the marriage of Sarah and Blake. I'd like to start with a poem that was selected by the couple entitled Epilogue. One day they'll write our epilogue, and I want it to say that this pair stuck together for all of their days. They loved one another, they made a great team, they shared hopes and goals, and went after their dreams. They weathered the storms, made hay in the sun, saw family and friends, and always had fun. But above all, I hope that when it comes to it, if asked to repeat time, we'd be happy to do it. Holding us together It's holding us together I'm tied to you forever <laughs> Holding us together Right around the time where Sarah and Blake started dating, we were introduced to a new romance book that we still love to this day. It's called The Light We Lost by Jill Santopolo. In it, there's a quote that we love, and it goes a little something like this. She thinks of every romance as if she's in a type of fire. Some relationships feel like wildfire. They're powerful and compelling and majestic and dangerous, and they have the ability to burn you before you even realize you've been consumed and that some relationships, they feel like a hearth fire. They're solid, stable, cozy, and nourishing. Blake is quite the hearth fire. He's big, warm, inviting, sweaty. <laughs> they click truly effortlessly, like soulmates do, and you can see the fire in their eyes when they're near each other. Here's to finding your soulmate an everlasting hearth fire. May it burn forever. There's a fire, there's a fire burning in my heart, burning from the start of the night. I first met. Blake and Sarah were over one day, way back a few months ago, and Blake said, hey, how's your project going in the basement? And I'm like, great, come on down. I was explaining to him, and he's like, Len, Len, I just want to ask you for Sarah's hand. So that was a very nice thing. We love you both. Congratulations, and now you have somebody to sit to me. Sarah and Blake have been thinking about for a long time. Today their journey as two separate souls comes to an end and married life begins. There is nothing greater in this world than finding the people with whom we feel safe, secure, and most ourselves. Your flames are separate, yet feed the same fire. From this day onward, may you bask in the beauty of the light of your love. May its light shine bright and steady upon your path together and may its heat keep you warm through all the days of your lives and beyond. Do you, Blake, take Sarah to be your wife? I do. And do you, Sarah, take Blake to be your husband? I do. I, Blake, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. I, Sarah, take you, Blake, to be my husband. My partner in life and my one true love. I will cherish our union. I will trust and respect you. Laugh with you and cry with you. Love you faithfully through good times and bad. Regardless of the obstacles we may face together. I give you my hand, my heart, and my love. From this day forward, as long as we both shall live. Today you have openly declared your love for one another. You have declared your intentions before these witnesses and in my presence. You have joined your hands and spoken your lifelong promises to each other. Therefore, by virtue of the law of the state of Michigan, it is with great honor that I pronounce you husband and wife. I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Blake and Sarah Langenstein, you make his survive. Oh, <laughs> 
Pleasure to introduce to you, Mr. and Mrs. Langenstein, Blake and Sarah. I first wanted to thank everyone for coming out. Sarah, you look amazing. Blake, oh, you're here. Blake's a pretty intense person. He's the type of guy who would invite you over to play video games, not tell you any of the buttons and just destroy you. But all jokes aside, Blake's a good guy, just with some rough edges. And I, and I know you'll be able to smooth them out, Sarah. Here's to both of you. I'm so happy for you.